Hi guys, it's Dwight. I am back to take you on a little tour of walkthrough. So first of all, I'm going to apologize for the messy space I have there. I started with one earlier and it didn't go well and I scraped it. And it's not what I like to do. I try not to scrape paintings anymore, but it really wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. And I sort of messed up on the composition. So here we are, um, a repour. And I did scrape and let the canvas dry for a little bit. And I have a several colors in here, which um, I outlined earlier in the video. I first want to say a thank you to uh, Massey Art. They mentioned me in their recent video and referenced my site here. I really appreciate that. They're fun guys to watch, um, great sense of humor, and do some really cool and color colorful things. So guys, shout out to you. Thanks so much. So let me move in a little bit and try to show you some of the details of some of the cells. That corner up there is pretty cool. There we go. Um, if The thing I'm cur curious about the most is this section right here. I don't like how those look, but I can touch them up with paint later. Um, I do... Oops, where, here we go. Try and get it to focus for me. There we go. I do like the shading through here. I think that looks really cool. Uh, we'll see how it dries and hopefully it remains pretty much as is and doesn't really sink into the white. Here's this corner down here. Another cool corner. I'd, I'd love, if I could get this effect on like the corner, if I can get that effect in the whole painting, um, that would make me happy. And I think one way of doing that is probably to thin my paints and not use as much color. Who knows, maybe I'll experiment. Um, as always, I use the Artist Loft brand for the white with Floetrol and tons of water to thin the painting out. And um, yeah, this is it guys. And hope you have a great rest of the weekend and we shall see you soon.